Welcome to Panda Bits. Seven days and ten minutes. Today we have an unboxing for you. Today we got a package from Newegg. This is the AMD 6650XT Gigabyte Ego Model Edition. 1080, 8 gigs of memory, PCI 4, Wind Force fans. Powered by AMD Radeon RX 665 XT GPU. Full Microsoft DirectX 12 Ultimate and OpenGL 4.6. Equipped with Gigabyte Wind Force cooling system. In the back, the Wind Force cooling system. Basically, they are running different patterns to help cool off and keep the heat sinks cooler. It's got a back plate with an opening on the back so that when this fan here blows, it'll blow out of here to keep it out. Heat pipes are direct touch to the GPU. Graphine, graphene nano lubricant. Not sure what that is, but it says it'll last two and one one time lifetime. Screen cooling, extended heatsink design, allows airflow to pass through, providing better heat dissipation. Okay, the CPU stuff is here, heatsinks go all the way here, so it adds a little extra. Now we'll open it up. And start off with a Quick guide. Yeah. Usual information, quite a few languages. A lot of languages actually. Description of how to insert the card, how to power the card. And here we go. Plastic cover over the logo up top. Not sure if this is RGB or not. I'm not seeing anything that looks RGB, so I think it's just a little transparent clear plastic cover. You can see the heatsink for the main GPU will go to about here. And that's where that extra area comes in as it overflows. And we've got two HDMI, two display ports, full size. And it has a single A pin for power. So first you're going to go to the AMD.com site, going to go down to drivers and support, scroll down and you're going to choose your processor. So choose graphics card, 6000 series, 6600 series, and 6650 XT. And when you're done with that, you're going to hit the submit button. And then now you're going to scroll down and you're going to choose your operating system. We're using Windows 10 here. And you're going to do download. Now you're going to have to wait for it to download. It'll take a couple of minutes. Once it's done, you're going to open up the file. And you're going to click install. This takes a little longer, I speeded up the pace. Alright, so now the program is installed and it's going to, uh, the 
packages installed, so now it's going to install the software. So go ahead and choose advanced options. You're going to want to do a full install. And then it's best if this is a new install that you don't have old settings to do a factory reset. And then it's up to you whether you want to keep your settings or not. And then click install. And this will take a few minutes to install. Once it gets to the point of finishing the first part of the install, you're going to have to restart your computer. Then once it comes back up, it'll finish a little bit of an install. Next, you're going to click Finish. You can choose to have it run or not right away. Then we can go to GPU-Z, and then we can check and see. It's showing the 6650 XT, and here are some of the specs if you'd like to review them. Now we're going to start a benchmark. We're going to set it to high. We're going to set the resolution to 1440p. Although for some reason it downgraded to 1080p, I'm guessing maybe because of the monitor I'm using currently is a 1080p. But let's just run it and see the uh, results from uh, the benchmarking. It's uh, sped up and it's a little stuttery because of my capture program.